Did you ever feel afraid? Did you ever feel afraid and then, and then just back down from something because it was too much? Or you were filled with so much fear that you couldn't move from where you were standing? Well, I thought that way before. And the truth is, I still feel that way from time to time. But the truth is, is that God has the ability to give us, God has the ability to, <clears throat> God has given us the ability to be courageous. Joshua 1.9 says to be strong and courageous. Don't be afraid or discouraged, for the Lord will be with you always. So what is courage exactly? Well, I asked Jesus to tell me what courage is. And Jesus showed me that true courage is not the absence of fear. It's doing what's right in the presence of fear. If we look at that in the light of Joshua 1.9, the key to courage becomes clear. For the Lord will be with you always. It's not about the task at hand, the persecution we're facing, or the cost of being obedient. Our courage comes from who? Comes from who is with us always. Courage and task at hand. Gideon was in a dire situation where the Midianites had basically destroyed everything that he and the Israelites had. Gideon was scared when God told him what he must do. He asked, how can I rescue Israel? My clan is the weakest of the clans in Manasseh, and I'm the least in my family. But the Lord said to him, I will be with you. You can find that passage in Judges 6, 15 through 16. So Gideon, who was weak and fearful, suddenly gathered all this courage and defeated the Midianites. So if, you're not, if you don't think you're really suited for what God has for the task that God has given you, or if you're scared of what God has told you to do, just remember, God, victory comes when God is with us. Courage in facing persecution. Daniel was a man of God who loved and served the Lord all the time. But because of his beliefs, he was thrown in the lion's den. I bet he was scared. And I can imagine he needed a new change of underwear. Hey, I know I would. But the Lord was faithful to Daniel and saved his life. Daniel 6.21 says, My God sent his angel to shut the lion's mouths so that they would not hurt me. Even in the face of hungry lions, God was there. And Daniel never had to worry about being safe. Courage and being obedient. Being obedient is sometimes hard, even when it doesn't put us in danger. Jesus is the perfect example of being obedient to God, even though it cost him his life. Mark 14, 36 says, Abba, Father, everything is possible for you. Please take this cup of suffering from me, yet I want your will to be done, not mine. So even though Jesus was afraid, he was still willing to obey because God was with him through more than just one time of obeying. Matthew 3.16 says, After his baptism, as Jesus came out of the water, the heavens were opened, and he saw the Spirit of God descending like a dove and settling on him. The Spirit of God was with him wherever he went, and through everything, especially when Jesus decided to go to the cross. So in all this evil and chaos that surrounds us, no matter how much we're pressured, oppressed, tempted, and beaten down, we will not be shaken because of who is with us. A year and a half ago, my sister Audra had cancer. And it was a trial that shook my, me and my entire family. And I was scared for her. But I knew that God was watching over me meaning that he's even looking after us in the future. Deuteronomy 31, 6 says, Do not be afraid and not to panic, because God is personally going ahead of our paths. So with that in mind, let us be bold and courageous. And if God is with us, then what can stand against us? Well, I only got one word for you. Nothing, N-O-T-H-I-N-G, nothing can stand against us. Love you guys. Thank you for your time.